Understanding and Discovering the Celebrity Skincare and Glow Part 2 In the previous video, we discovered how celebrities have access to some of the most advanced technologically and scientifically superior serums. And we introduced this category called Slow Serums. In this video or part two, we're going to understand what really qualifies to be a slow serum and how can we include them in our skincare and why they are the most important part of any skincare routine. Slow serum skincare is a category that I thought was important in serums because just treating all serums similarly kind of confuses everybody in terms of what results to expect and how to use them. So for me, what has worked very well and also with some of the clients that I've worked and to introduce this concept is to kind of break serums into two, active serums and slow serums. So active serums, we all understand how they act, you know, in terms of the niacinamides, the alpha butans, the azelite, the trans -examic acid. Why do we need this definition? I think we need this definition because there's a lot of confusion between serums. You know, a lot of people use these serums and they expect the same results as, as you get from an active, say a niacinamide or an alpha butan, right? But these serums will not show you results overnight. And so I thought it's very, very important to have these serums segregated so that we are able to set better expectation from this particular skincare type. So what are slow serums? I have drawn out a list on what I feel defines slow serums the best. The first thing is that they are foundational skincare. What does that mean? It means that they set the foundation of our skin's health very well. They make our skin stronger. Second, as the name suggests, they are slow and they are long term. You know, it's not something that's going to give you a result in the first week, first month. The boom bomb results will not happen overnight or in the short period of time. They will come over a long period of time. Number three, they help improve the health of the skin. So therefore, your skin will be less prone to acne as well as pigmentation and even the onslaught of aging. These kind of serums not only improve the skin barrier, but they also keep it healthy. And that helps our skin remain hydrated, in fact, well hydrated. With a strong skin barrier, they are also able to protect our skin from the UV radiation, which is just getting worse. As we all know, our planet is heating up. A healthy skin barrier also protects from the pollutants. It protects from the free radicals, all of which not only age our skin over a period of time, but also make it more prone to acne, to irritation, to inflammation, which can result in pigmentation over a period of time. So a lot of preventive foundational skin care is taken care by the slow serums. And also because they are so protective and preventive in nature, they are absolutely important to be included in a skincare routine which has actives in it. Because actives can compromise a skin barrier with careless use or even if with overuse or sometimes the skin is not able to handle an active very well or very easily. So in such times to have this kind of a backup friend or something that kind of helps your active perform better is incredibly important in a skincare routine. Now these slow serums are not just a hash of emollients and humectants, you know, like a moisturizer is because those also protect your skin barrier. They are the latest in technology, you know, was the latest in science of skincare and also will have advanced ingredients and advanced science and technology backing these serums. That's I think is a very critical component of these serums because um, we are planning for the long term. So we want to use what is the latest in skincare uh, to help our skin stay its healthiest. Does it make sense to make it even easier for you to understand where I'm coming from and why it's important to differentiate the actives from slow serums is this. To put it in one sentence, the active serums help cure and show results quickly. The slow serums prevent and cure in the long run. And both of those are incredibly important in your skincare routine. Now you might say that they you know all these slow serums are really expensive and yes they do tend to be expensive and that's because years and years of research and development goes into creating one particular product along with that you know it has so much of science and technology and the latest ingredients that it just tends to cost money but then even that is relative because when i was working on the budget of these slow serums you realize that say you're buying a serum for 2000 rupees it's a one-time expense that you do, quite like the fixed deposit. When you break it down in a year, you're spending 200 rupees a month probably because this serum will last you easily for about 8 to 10 months. At the end of one year, your skin is healthier, it is calmer and you can just feel the goodness in your skin. A healthier, calmer skin will not only look good, will be plump, 
but will also be able to absorb the actors better. So you really have a double advantage with by including the slow serums along with your active serums. I want to classify the slow serums into three. One is the water-based serums, then you have the lotion, creamy serums, then you have the oil-based serums, plus also the oils. The oils are also slow serums because they take time to show results on your skin, but definitely improve the health of the skin. So when you're including these in your skincare, you can use the water-based and the creamier and the lotiony serums in the AM as well as in the PM. The oilier serums, or if you're using oils in your skincare, include them only in the PM routine. It's better not to include the oilier serums on the day you're using retinol or a tretinoin because they can inf interfere with the absorption of both of these. If you are in the retinization process, my suggestion is to use the lotiony or the creamier or the water-based slow serums only and use them after about 25 to 30 minutes of using the retinol or the tretin A and follow that up with a moisturizer. Now that we know how to include slow serums in our skincare, I'm going to be discussing a few serums. A lot of these slow serums have already been a part of my other videos and if you've been part of the community, you already know why these serums are great. If you're not part of this community, make sure you join us today. Now for these particular serums, I'm only going to be discussing the reason why they should be in your skincare and what kind of skin would benefit most from these serums. Most of the slow serums are great for all skin types and all skin conditions because Slow serums help make our barriers strong, help us fight UV radiation, help the skin get stronger against free radicals and also fight pigmentation on a continuous basis. So this is like the supplementation or the good foundation of skincare. The first serum that I want to talk about is the Ultimate Moisturizing Honey Overnight Mask. This serum or this mask comes loaded with propolis. Propolis is absolutely exceptional in treating your skin, especially when you have acne scars. And now that we know how slow serums work, we know that this is not going to remove your scars overnight on first two months or first three months. But surely with long term use, you will see a difference. This is a product that's been part of my skincare for a very long time. And I think this is one of the reasons why my acne scars didn't become really bad despite the fact that I had really intense cystic acne, you know, is to get a lot of pus and this to stay for like weeks together. So propolis. There's also propolis serums available from the Earth Rhythm. They have propolis advanced repair serum and they also have the overnight gel which has got 20% propolis. So depending on what works for you in your budget, pick one of these three propolis for your skincare. The next serum that I want to talk about is the snail mucin. You might feel hydrated, your skin might feel calmer, but the real effect of, slow, of uh, snail mucin in repairing your skin, you know, making your acne scars a little lighter or more softer and smoother and improving the health of your skin happens over a long period of time. So there is the Advanced Snail 96 uh, Mucin Par Essence from uh, Cosrx which is really, really nice. And this has just entered my skincare because I generally use the snail mucin from uh, Mizon, the multifunctional formula snail repair intensive ampule. I've spoken about it in so many of my videos. This is part of my foundational skincare. A little more watery as compared to the one from Mizon, but it goes on very well. I think the difference is this is an essence and that is a serum, but you see, however you might call it this is the reason i'm clubbing this essence as a slow serum is because of the fact that it's a long-term product it's going to help help your skin over a period of time there's not going to be an overnight effect but yet it's critical for skincare especially if you have acne scars then there is the daughter earth serum absolute i have spoken about this in my other video also this is one of those serums which you want in your skincare forever and the reason for that is really because this has got such fantastic ingredients that will help you calm your skin, fight your skin barrier, make it stronger and also fight, <clears throat> excuse me, and also fight pollutants and irritants. All these actions together make sure that your skin becoming healthier and stronger. So it is absolutely brilliant for pigmentation and acne and acne scars. It's expensive, but this lasts you for almost eight to 10 months. You require just a pump of it and you're done. Then there are the oils, there's the Kumkumadi oil from Aryaved Dashala, there's the Juicy Chemistry Saffron and Red Raspberry oil. I've spoken about it also in my previous video and of course Detoxy Almond Oil which is brilliant. All these oils are very very good, there's a more detailed video I've made, I've made on it. Please make sure you have a look to understand why oils are great as slow serums and make a fantastic um, part of your skincare in terms of 
making your skin stronger and healthier. And for us Indians, oils have been part of our uh, skincare and our life for so long. It's just that we haven't kept pace with it. You know, we've grown away from the traditional skincare. So we lose out a lot of those benefits. One serum that I want to include in this particular slow serum video is the Juicy Chemistry Vitamin C Brightening Serum. It's the new Juicy Actives that have been launched by Juicy Chemistry. And the reason I'm including this is because this vitamin C is different from all other vitamin Cs available in the Indian market today. And the reason for that is one, the extract. The extract, of course, comes from Kakadu Plum. This, I think, is one of the most superior extracts available in skincare today, in India at least. The composition is absolutely brilliant. This vitamin C is going to work beautifully if you are somebody who's sensitive to vitamin C and has not been able to include vitamin C in your skincare. It's not going to irritate your skin. Of course, you must do a patch test because skin, you know, skin can get irritated to even natural extracts to anything, right? Even basin, people can be allergic to basin as well. So do a test, but I'm very, very confident this is going to be very well accepted for those who are sensitive to vitamin C. And this is a vitamin C that you, that you can include very easily if you're going through the retinization process because it is so gentle and so beautifully balanced. I'm doing a more detailed video on this in the days to come, so make sure you stay tuned. But highly recommend it for your skin. Let me give you a quick peep. It's a little uh, oily actually. It gives you a little bit of an oil feel, but it gets absorbed very, very beautifully into your skin. You just require one pump and that is enough. And that's one of the qualities of slow serums. A little is enough and that's why they last so beautifully and uh, give you some really long lasting benefit. So this goes in very beautifully, leaves you a nice shiny glow. It almost feels like a silicone finish, though it does not have any silicones in it. So you have to, you know, kind of use it to see what a beautiful glow it gives on your skin. Now keep in mind, I have lights around me, so the glow is more intense, but um, so don't expect your face to be like a boom, you know, not even the kind of shine I have on my skin because there is light bouncing off my skin, but it does give you a nice dewy finish, if you know what I mean. So this is my skin without any lights. I want to show you the difference. It's just not like my face is like boom, pataka, shine all the time. It's not like that at all. So please keep it real and keep it focused. Don't expect your skin to be like a reflective glass. So let's keep it real. And for some real world conversations, I'm going to meet you in the comment section.